guys, Mary Ann here with Shopping Crafty. So today I wanted to talk to you guys about a necessary kind of evil in the acting business, which I think is just a little morally icky, but it's also necessary. Again, it's, it's a necessary evil. I'm talking about acting workshops. Acting workshops are an opportunity to pay to perform and meet in, um, I said that weird, to perform in front of and meet <laughs> a casting director or agent. Now, that opportunity is amazing, but having to pay for it gives this huge edge to people who have money. You have to have a lot of money to invest in casting workshops for them to ever really pay off. And... I don't know, it's just a little, a little yucky because in order to get opportunities to audition for things, the casting director or your agent has to be higher up, has to have access to the bigger things, and has to know who you are. And in order to bring that together, you either have to already know impressive, important people in the industry or you have to pay money to meet them, and that's... It's just a little, a little weird. Because if you don't have money, then you're sort of screwed. Which has sort of been my problem the past couple years and led to my sick and tired of being sick and tired moment. Like, I needed money for my career. I'm at a standstill because I can't, I can't do non-union work anymore. And I can't meet many of the higher up people and my agent that I have can't get me in the room for bigger auditions and it's just I need I need to meet people and I have to pay in order to do that and I didn't have any money um now I have done some casting workshops and again like <sighs> casting workshops they're a great opportunity and it is I I don't like begrudge the casting directors or agents who do them because they're sacrificing their downtime they're really like doing this for extra cash, I'm sure, but like they're putting themselves out there so that you can meet them. And that is really cool, which is why it's like a weird, it's just a weird situation. It's like, I don't want them to go away, but I also understand why people think they're yucky because there's been articles and stuff about why they're, they're like, why? Um, why it's a little, just a little immoral feeling in general, but um, like, I don't, I don't hold it against them. I think it's, the best system we've been able to come up with to get unknown actors in to known casting directors. Now whenever I've done a casting workshop, I've done a couple that are one night events, which is what they usually are at places. Um, I think there's something like called LA casting, um, LA, LA workshops, LA casting workshops, um, I think is what it's called. I don't know. Um, Google workshops and you'll find a bunch of them. Um, Hollywood workshops is one. And the one night ones are really tricky because you really, you get two minutes with them. And how are they supposed to remember you? You don't know how often they do these. Um, if they have it like once a week, once every two weeks, once a month even, and you're two minutes in a night of like 20 people every time they do this, and then they go to work and they see a million different actors every day, like you'll get lost in the shuffle easily, even if you blow them away. I've had people say that before, like someone, like an agent, they were there and the agent like loved them and they're like, you are so great. Next time they went in to see them at another workshop, they had no memory of this person and they had been so hopeful. But they, they see actors all day, every day in their jobs. It's easy to get lost in their brain, you know? So I have found that I prefer when you have the option to do longer workshops. And the only place I've ever done them is called Act Now Network, and it is awesome. Um, they audition. They have auditions for the actors before they can do a workshop. So the casting directors, they can get a little bit higher caliber casting directors and agents sometimes. Um, and they know that the people they're seeing are going to be at least basically good at acting because there's a screening process. You have to go on an audition for one of the workers for ACT NOW before you can meet the casting directors. And I love it. 
Um, so I've done stuff like with assistants at Linda Lowy, um, who does all like the Shonda Rhimes shows. And it was like a three week thing. So one night every week I went in and performed a different piece for them. That's awesome. Um, sometimes they have you bring in your own stuff. Sometimes they provide it for you. Um, I always prefer, prefer when they provide it for you, but you gotta do what you gotta do. Finding scenes and monologues has always been the bane of my existence. Ugh. But anyway. So yeah, I really prefer the three-week event. That means it's usually over, well, definitely over 100 if it's a three-week event. But I feel like you get more time to for them to get to know you and you for you to leave a real impression, which I think is important. Um, so yeah, Act Now Network. And the funny thing about them, I don't know if they still do it. They have a terrible marketing system. They like blindly call people, like they get a list of actors from wherever, whoever sells it to them, call them and basically start accusing them of not being serious about their career unless they want to pay hundreds of dollars on casting workshops. That was my first impression of Act Now. And I was like, are you kidding? No. They like made me feel bad about myself. It was, a, it was terrible. So if that has happened to you and you're an actor, please don't hold that against them. I don't know whose idea that was. It was ridiculous and stupid. They are actually a great place. When you go there, they're very warm people, very welcoming. They just have to operate by this stupid script that they were given to bring people in, and it's just stupid. Like, uh, I don't know why they do that. It's terrible. Um, but anyway, the, the workshops are great. Um, when you go in for the audition, you're expected to at least buy one workshop on the spot. Um, but yeah, I really like being able to cultivate a longer lasting relationship with an agent. And you're always supposed to follow up with the casting directors a couple weeks later with like postcard, email, whatever. They usually tell you their preferred method of contacting them. And yeah, I... I've never gotten an audition or anything from it, but I know people who have. Um, actually, the lady, it was funny, I was there. I had never known she had gone through them, but the lady who played my mom in the movie A Better Place was on the wall as a success story. She had actually gotten a part in the first Percy Jackson movie from a workshop she did there. The problem is it just works like once in a blue moon and so you need to spend a bunch of money on a bunch of workshops before you can even really hope to be lucky enough for that to happen. Oh well. Oh well. Um, anyway, that's why I'm budgeting now and I will start doing workshops again as soon as possible. Um, and I will have the information for Act Now below. I'll try to find a couple other workshops. I get, I know I get emails from them but I can't find any of them right now. Um, but Act Now is by far my favorite because you get a more fruitful experience from them, I think. Anyway, if you guys have any other questions about workshops or, I don't know, anything, literally any random thought, let me know down.